Hi, this is Barbie at Artifaces, and I am here with my friend Desi, who is going to be my model today. We are going to do a, a very lovely design. It, I call it the Drama Eye. It is one uh, that teenagers like and older girls, and it's very fancy. Uh, if you have it at a paper face, you'll be doing quite a few of these. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the basic shape, and then you can get as fancy as you like. You can stop right here. Uh, or you can keep going. So this is a face that's very adaptable. If you need to rush through a line, you do a little bit less fancy. Um, if you want to do it up, then you do all the swirls and all the dots and everything. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it. This design looks like it takes a long time. Once you've practiced it, um, you can get it done in under three minutes. So this is a money maker for you. We are going to do it on Desi, and this actually happens to be Desi. I did this face on her at the York Fair. And uh, she loved it, so we're going to do it again. We are going to change up the colors. What you need is one art cake. Again, you can make your own, cut up your own cakes, squish the paints together. Um, this one happens to be tag, which I love. I love the tag ones. Uh, it's called Stargazer. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and it is a wineberry color and a neon pink and a white. So if you want to recreate it, be sure to make it a neon in the middle. We are going to load up our brush. I'm going to dampen the paint. I've already loaded it a little bit, but we're going to do a little bit more. You want to load it up fairly well, but you also want to make sure that it doesn't drip into uh, your sweet customer's eyes. So what you're going to do is the darker color is going to be on the outside. So as we're painting like this, we're going to put the dark color in the middle of her eye. We're going to have her close your eyes and then keep them closed the whole time. What we're going to do is we're going to try to cover most of her lid. You just press down, place it on top of her lid, and press down. They're going to get, kind of make a swoop, and it's going to be a curved line, which is much more pleasing uh, than to make just a straight diagonal line. So it's a bit of a curved line like this. Then we're going to turn our brush around so that white on the brush meets the white on the face, and we're going to enclose this. You see how the red part of my brush is coming up before the white part. The white part is remaining down, and I end in a point up there. Then you're going to make sure your dark color is on the outside and you're going to make three little petal shapes. Let me go back for some more paint. I'm working a little more slowly than usual. So my paint's drying up. Okay, we do three petals. One, two, three, and then we pull down, straight down. Now at this point what I would do is I would put some glitter on. I normally poof my glitter. I'm not going to do it today um, because it might sparkle as a reflection as I'm taping. Um, but normally I put it on now because it would stick nicely with the paint being wet. And uh, I always find that my girls love when their glitter sticks. Next, we're going to do the basic outlining. You're going to take your brush. I'm using a size 4 round brush. And you want to start at a very tiny point. I always start underneath the eye. That seems to look really nice. You're going to come up in a very thin line and then you're going to get very thick once you reach just under the eyebrow. Lay down your paintbrush. You can even twirl it a little bit to get more of a texture. And then you're going to pull up on your paintbrush and get a fine line again at the end. Okay? And that line, that takes three seconds at the most. You're going to do the same thing at the outside. You want there to be a very thick line out here. So lay down your brush, move it around a little bit to get some texture into your line so it's not even. And then start pulling up again and you're going to come to a point. You're going to do the same thing on the outside, but you're going to come and you're going to do a swirl. So lay down your brush nice thick, and then you're going to pull up your brush and come to a very thin point. That is the most pleasing. If you can vary the size of your lines um, in every painting that you do, um, you're going to have a lot of success. So now um, we're going to make a couple flicks going up, and this is actually your basic shape. So you could stop here if you needed to. Um, but everything you do from here on out is a little bit of a bonus. So if you want to, you come, I'm going to move your head just a little bit. You're going to do a swirl. And if you want to, you come out from that swirl. Oops, we got our hair in the way. And you can just keep going as you like. And again at the bottom, we're going to do one more fat swirl. Overlap the other one. We're going to do a little thin one, maybe come down to the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to do a little bit of eyeliner on her. 
If you have a small child, you may want to skip this part and just flick up some corners, almost like eyelashes. It's, it's a very pleasing look. So now we've got the basics down. What we're going to do is we're going to grab, you can either grab your white brush or what I like to use is this little brush that I found at Walmart. I think it is a pipe cleaning brush to clean pipes, uh, to clean uh, you know, a men's pipe, the kind that you smoke. Um, I dip it into a dippy pot of liquid paint. You can make your own. You'll have to experiment, but use water that you've boiled um, so that it's sterile. And I'm going to use my brush and I'm going to make just dots in random places. If you can make some of the dots thicker and some thinner, then that's great. It's a little humid in my house today, so uh, my paints are not drying and things are kind of running together. That's okay though. All right, and you're just going to make a couple dots in a few different places. And the last step is grab a number one size brush. You can also use your four round if you have good control. And we're going to make a couple starbursts. I always like to make two. If I make the cross-shaped ones, I like to make two. I'll make two more at the top. Turn your head this way, babe girl. At this point, you may want to put on some uh, lipstick and some glitter on top of that. Um, but that's basically the shape. Now, again, you can embellish it more. As you can see, the one that I did on her at the York Fair was just a little bit more work. Um, but this design takes just a few minutes. It looks pretty. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>